is this great or is it unplayable? I don't know. <laughs> Good. Yeah. All right, recording is set up. Let's take the 6-6. Six, six. Okay. And then, well, now I have to do it. <laughs> what does this card do? I should. <laughs> well, it's a Stormscape card. I know. Uh, I love the art of this card, like, ridiculously. Um, it's actually pretty okay. Only okay, I'd say. It seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, it's okay, but there's also just a 6-6. Six, six. You want to take the, the what's it I'm, called, Mystic? I kind of want to take that. I mean, it's, I like it's this. cool. That's true. I'll take cool cards. We're not here to win. We're here to take cards I like. You gotta you gotta cut the Esper cards. Yeah. All right. Well, this is an easy recoil, I think. Yeah. All, all right. those ores in the format. Yeah. There's Tower Drake is also pretty great. Yeah. Tower Drake's good. Yeah. I would not hate getting that card. Or honestly, Obsidian Acolyte's also pretty great. All right. All right. Um, pack, finally a pack without a card that's great. Um, it's not awful. Is, how good is that card? Yeah. Uh, the cards mm -hmm. I'm looking at are Capish and Unicorn is not an awful card. Um... This elephant is also pretty reasonable. Um, Urborg skeleton is pretty mopey. I think I'm gonna take the unicorn. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I feel like the one four might be like stronger in general, but then not good if you don't play green yeah and like at this point we're just forcing this <laughs> I, kind of, I think that's gonna happen what's in our draft a simple tortoise stone cold value Ooh, now this is actually interesting do we take the tower drake or do we take the dream thrush because this is like actually kind of difficult those are both pretty great cards Hmm. It's tough. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm taking the Dream Thrush. Oh, it's honestly, I could be told I was wrong there. Dream Thrush is okay. I'd play like two of them in the deck. And you know, when we're trying to play like this card or that card, yeah. This card's always fun because you almost always end up having to choose a color that you're in. Um, and then here, The cards I'm looking at are Banalish Trapper is not bad. But Dismantling Blow is also reasonable. We already have a Capish and Unicorn, so I think I'm going to take the Trapper. The Knight is also reasonable and probably would be played, but I think Trapper is probably better. Trapper's good. Yeah. And then, oh boy, more cards. There's this Tree Folk Healer that we should really be taking. Mm. <laughs> Love them Tree Folk Healers. Or a Dismantling Blow. I feel like I should take the Healer. <laughs> sure. Oh, we can play Four Color, right? The third Dismantling Blow but we should just take the Lancer because it's still probably better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Super happy. That's late for that card, I think. Yeah. Like, this card's like a very good card in the format. It's just casually that, uh, the gating green card, but you don't need to be playing two colors or return a creature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is exactly what it is. All right, I think we're at the point where we only see cards we've already seen, so we'll see what's wheeled or not. I think, like, the nut would pro. I mean, there's no way exclude, but I think, like, Coastal Towel... Okay, we didn't get any of the cards, but I'm also not surprised. Um, there's Voldalian Merchant. That's just not going to do anything. Um, as far as cards, I think Kavu Aggressor is probably the best card. <laughs> As sad I, as that is. Maybe the maybe the apprentice. Uh, yeah, I think, I think. The, the apprentice is the card we're taking. Okay, but Gressers is not really a oh, baby. normal card. Teferi's care. How much do you want to counter enchantment spells? <laughs> I do, but I also don't want to take that card. I'm just gonna take the Serpentine Cavo. Sure. We're not playing any of these cards and this is like actively a good card. Um I'm going to take Canopy Surge. That card's a really great sideboard card. We might not be playing Tromar, as sad as that is. No. <laughs> I know. Like, this Rampaging Elephant, we should just be playing this card. Is All right. Okay? It's, like, a pretty okay card. Yeah. We might not be playing Black. No, we have to play Tromar. I know, we, we do, but we can't. <laughs> I feel like blues might be being cut based off of the colors I've seen. It's really unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in a, I was in a popular match when I joined the call. I thought it was about to end, but then I found a way to gain life unexpectedly. Rip. And the match continued for another 10 minutes. The game yeah. just ended and the opponent said, whoa, in the chat. Oh. <laughs> Wool? Really Wool, like off a sheep. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, there's Voice of All, so I mean. There's Voice of All? What is that? What's the better do? It's actually it's really good. Oh, that was a W cube cut. It is, yeah. It's it's a 3 4 flyer for 5, and that's pretty much all you <laughs> want to <laughs> You don't kick oh. it. That's, that's, the, that's the trick. You don't do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's Voice yeah, of All. Yeah, I like Voice of All. Yeah, pretty easy voice of all. I mean, there are a lot of good cards in that pack. I would not be ha unhappy with a lot of those cards, but, you know, voice of all is voice of all. Yeah. I love this card, but the problem is it returns itself half of the time. And so it's really just a 6-6 six, six flyer for 6. And then there's Flame Dung fucking Kavu. Oh, boy. God damn it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, just play. No. <laughs> not, it's Flame Tongue Kavu, though. Are you going to take Flame Tongue Kavu? I think so. I don't think anything else in this... I mean, there's Primal Growth. If we want to be, like, I don't know. Maybe the responsible take is primal growth. But it's flame tongue kavu. Okay. You can take flame tongue. Yeah. Maybe, maybe primal growth will wheel like it did last night. It won't wheel. I'm almost certain of that, but this this pack is too bad for that. There are like a million unplayable cards. This feels bad. I'm gonna do it. Um alright, there's allied strategies, so I mean What right. does that battle mage do? Is that strong? Uh, there's like oh, there's also Samite Pilgrim, but also I just think we take Allied Strategies. This battle mage is actually actually quite good. I don't know what it does. Two in a blue return two things. Two in a red destroy. Oh yeah, that is. It's it's quite good. Yeah. Okay. I think it's Allied Strategies though. Sure. I like drawing cards. Me too. Deadapult is a fun card. 
Okay, okay. so this is an interesting take here. Where's Jomar's charm to go with the Jomar? Yeah, it's actually quite um, good. There's... I think it's... Uh, well, you tell me what you want, but I think I'm looking, I know what I want. I'm looking at either of the, these cards. Hmm. I think seriously. I mean, the Sunscape Battle Mage also is pretty great. Yeah, I, I was going to say the Battle Mage, but maybe that's greedy and you should just take the Explorer. I want to take the Battle Mage. <laughs> <laughs> A deal. Okay, Wrist Grove <laughs> is like actually kind of hot. Let's do that. Let's take this card. I will, also, I will always look at this card and think, wait, this is the ramp spell? No, this is the card that's Falling Timber. Yeah, uh, I would also probably take Multani's Harmony, but just take Risk Grove. It's actively kind of great. We probably shouldn't play this, and I should have just taken an on-color card because our cards are actually good enough, but I want to play it. <laughs> well, now I just want to play yeah. basics of all five pillars. Yeah. We should, I should have taken the Primal Growth. <laughs> My deck is going to have enough powerful cards. It's not like I have to play this card. But, like, I want to draw a red gating creature and just pick this up sometime. I play oh hey primal growth all right that's an easy take Yay. yep Keld on twilight i remember drafting this in an irl ipa draft it's not good yeah and then there's a magma burst i feel like i should be in red there's a magma burst <laughs> How good is Marsh Crocodile? Uh, I think it's bad because it's each player discards a card. I would not like put to play this card. It's a four four though. This is true. I'm gonna take Magma Burst. You don't have enough creatures to take that in your mind. Yeah. All right. Well, there's Samite Elder. I feel like I have to take that. Uh. What? <laughs> this card's kind of nuts. Why is this in the pack? <laughs> well, I feel like we've. I feel like I'm glad I gave up on these cards, <laughs> as much as I love them. I, I feel like I'm supposed. Oh, I'm to hoping to get them back in. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we draft some like apocalypse duels, we can do that. All right, and then here, oh, the Query and Explorer. All right, we just have to take oh, that card. Yeah, I would. I would have liked. I hope to cast an Urtai's Trickery, but we need to take this card. <laughs> if we play all five colors, it always fixes for something relevant. Yeah. We could like almost be a two pack deck. Um, here, I think it's Amphibious Kavu, probably. The Pollen Remedy is honestly not a bad card, but I just want the Kavu. The card's like pretty great. Selectively. And then here. This Familiar isn't honestly all that bad, but I think Stone Kavu is probably better. Although, if we're not playing a whole lot of red, is it? Mm. It's tough. Neither of these are really things I want to play. Yeah, I'll throw in the Kavu. And then here... What the, hell, is, Pilgrim? What the hell are you doing here? Probably um, the same thing as the... 
Okay, this one isn't good. I'm gonna take destroy a land, make tokens prevent damage. Yeah, it's not actually all that good. I'll take Sissy's Ingenuity as an interesting card. <laughs> I do like the design of if you have perfect mana, you can color screw your opponent. <laughs> yep. Oh, I love that about these cards. They're Rashad and Ford in disguise. Oh. Uh, I will gladly take a Pollen Remedy. I don't think we're... I'll, you know, I'll leave it in for now. I've been got by this card before. Also, just the Lujo staple. <laughs> Probably not going to play that card. It's like a worse pollen remedy. <laughs> it's a primal growth. Um, I love a wild research, but it's not good. Um, coalition honor guard. Let's do I, that. I, I think that's the take. Uh, there's coalition flag. It's like the card, but better. And then the other cards I see, I really don't see anything I want. <laughs> yeah, this pack is Tundra actually, Kalu. <laughs> yeah, this pack is quite poor for us at least. I love wild research but it's not good. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Now this is sad. Dual land? We probably just take the dual land. <laughs> there are a lot of other cards, probably this Urbor, or honestly this Reshaman would also be pretty good, but just take the dual land <laughs> and be a little sad about a lot That's of it. probably better than Urbor Elf. Yeah. Especially when it's like pretty free. And it helps us cast these busted red cards. Building this mana base is going to be interesting because we're probably just not playing a lot of these cards, honestly. <laughs> we could just be Naya. We probably should just be Naya. <laughs> we would have, like, pretty good mana. <clears throat> yeah. We might splash for things like allied strategies. Chromat. Ooh. Oh, do we do we chromat? <laughs> we could chromat. <laughs> but there's also Quicksilver Dagger. There are so many. Good, there are like good cards in this pack. Chromat's not a good card. It's five yeah. color. <laughs> it's five colors of banda. This would also be fun, but it's bugged. There are a lot of good cards in this pack. I think we take Quicksilver Dagger, but oh, that's a double splash. Eh, I'm gonna do it. Okay. I think Dagger is like a reasonable take. Chromat's the like unreasonable take. <laughs> if it was, if it didn't cost black mana, and the if the best ability wasn't black mana based, and are just like I don't know, uh, it, playing black mana in this deck feels like incorrect to me. Legacy mm. weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> but I'm we should I should have I should have just gone mono greed. <laughs> <laughs> would have been a lot of <laughs> would have been something. It really would have been something. Um the other cards in this pack are really all not all that great, honestly. Um I wish this card could target either player's graveyard, but it doesn't. Um Nothing here in this pack really is anything I want to be playing. I wish I could just rare draft this card, even though it's worthless. Um, is there anything in this that I really care about? It's like a bobcat. That's not even good. I'm gonna. Oh, we don't need. Uh, I guess Cita Disciple is the better card here. I'll take the. I'll take that. And then, that's a jungle barrier. Should probably just take the jungle barrier. Mm -hmm. Okay. What other cards? Or oh, uh, legionnaire might be better though. It's tough. Uh. 
Do you have any thoughts? Not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I think we're good enough on twos that I think I am going to take Jungle Barrier. We're committing to playing blue at this point. Like, I think our blue is good enough that I want to do that. I hear a lot of black cards, which is unfortunate. Um, it's probably Manacles, I think. It's a pretty good card. It's like that or Rocket Disciple, but I don't think I want to play Rocket Disciple. Sure. Just take Manacles. It's a reasonable card. All right. How good is Captain's Maneuver? It's pretty busto. You can redirect like any damage to anything else. This card is yeah. I mean, I thought it was busted, but then it, it wheeled, so it's like <laughs> I must be misremembering. I mean, have you seen this? We got like this, like almost like third to last. I think white is just not claimed, except by us at this table. We've gotten way too many cards that are just like we got. What was it? This card. This that was just completely unreasonable wheeling this card. Or not really, <laughs> but even reasonably getting that card. Um, it's probably Tundra Kavu. I don't see anything else here that I like. Yeah, I don't want these. Maybe Bog? No. If it was not the blue that. one, I'd like it, but not that one. This is going to be like tough to build, actually. We have to, we have like have a, a lot of really great cards. We have nice ma Naya mana base. Yeah, I feel like a lot of players because we saw a lot of really great blue cards pack one, and I kind of think that's what everyone else at our table is doing. Um. We're not playing any of these cards. Like Squeeze Embrace is like a reasonable card, but I, I don't think we want to play it, but I don't want to play any of these other What's cards. What's the best sideboard card here? The flag? Shield? I think it's the shield. Okay. Take that. Yeah, maybe you just play against Simic Aggro or something. Yeah. Um, man, if we had just taken Gaia's balance, uh, yeah, easy Skyfolk here though. Manacles is also a consideration, but I think you just take the Skyfolk. Would have liked to see like a pinger or two, but this ain't bad. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see an Lightning Angel, but. Um, probably the glider here. It's just Tower Drake, but better. Or actually, wait, no, this one doesn't have flying natively. Okay, this is just worse than Tower Drake, but uh, we're not we're not playing that card. Um, and then here. This card's like not awful. Uh, this is Angel Fire Crusader, a Rocket Disciple. That's tough. I think I'll take Rocket Disciple. Mm. I don't know. Uh, well, we took Rocket Disciple. Oh, hey, another shield. Or we can take Tarngrar Stare. <laughs> well, we get to take it anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. How, how the hell do we build this? <sighs> All right, let's do your strategy. Yeah, I'm not even sure what colors I want. All right. Well, the only color I know for certain is white. We're an incredibly okay. white base. Okay, deck. so get all the busted white cards in there. Voice of all, get in here. Coalition Honor Guard. I'd say that's a busted white card. That's a busted white card. Sunscape Battle Mage, technically a busted white card, but sure. we'll hold off for now. Samite Elder. 
busted white card. That is, that is a busted white card. Banalish Lancer. I think that's a busted white card. It's a pretty good white card. Samite Pilgrim. Pretty good white card. Uh, Capuchin Unicorn. We might play this. It's like very. It's it's definitely not busted. It's true. Banalish Trapper. Is that busted? Yeah, let's play that. I think so. All right, we don't need shields, and we only we probably are not playing any of those. All right, we have six white cards. Um, what's the next color we know we're playing? That's that's. I think the it might be red. I think it is red. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you got the the, the light. fixing light. You yeah, got, like two premium cards. Yeah, magma burst, busted red card, flame tongue kavu, busted in today's standard. All right, and then really that's it. Play Tundra Kavu. I mean, we probably will play Tundra Kavu, but I don't think that's a reason to play red. Right, right. Yeah. Um, oh, and and uh, the X spell. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we should. Where are all my multicolor cards? I should just group them all together. Oh, I didn't know she got the uh, my barbarian. Yeah, we got that earlier. Just because we got that before the cabo, isn't it? Yeah, that was pack one, and it was just like a filler card that we took. Um. Hmm. Yeah. I like how we were pack one. We were like pack one recoil. Let's let's go, and then we're just in no, in no way a recoil <laughs> deck. <laughs> okay. So then, I think the next card we want to go to is probably green. Or and let's do blue first. So allied strategies, busted card, stormscape master, busted card. But we're not playing black. I know that much. Well, daily and serpent, kind of a busted card. Dream thrush. Kind of a busted card. And then... Sita Disciple. That card's pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. And then let's look at green. Tree Folk Healer. Pretty good card. Um, primal Growth. Busted card. Query and Explorer. Busted card question mark? And then let's look at our mana situation. Oh, or the multicolor cards. So we know we're playing Captain's Maneuver. I'm going to put that in the red cards. And then other cards. Uh, let's do jungle barrier. Uh, hmm. All right. And then I think. Um, are you done with the green pile? I think I'm done with the green pile of cards I okay. consider kind of busted. Time to revisit the multicolor card. Yep. Again. Yeah, Jungle Barrier. It's a double splash, but I'd say it's pretty good. And then Quicksilver Dagger is in the same camp. In a double, in, not in our main colors, but pretty busted. Although I guess the way our mana is, only white is a main color. Everything else is like a splash color at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so these are the cards that I think are like actively very powerful. And then the rest of the deck's gonna just kind of be the okay cards. And then... So, how about that dragon? I'm not putting the dragon in. I'm uh, sorry. Fine. I'm not okay, playing... Let's play Sunscape Battle Mage and Manacles. Yep. Manacles and Sunscape, yeah. I think I'm resigned to just being four color at this point. Okay. And then everything else. So how many, we're at 19 cards. We need like three more. So I think Tundra Kavu is just a reasonable card. Yeah, that sounds good. 
fixing. Yep. And then Serpentine Kavu is not awful. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amphibious Kavu is a reasonable card, but that's probably a sideboard. We don't need to play that main. And then... Oh, Thornscape Apprentice. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That card is pretty good. I'm wondering, do we want any... I'm also wondering, do we want that or the Seated Disciple, though? This technically fixes. Um, so that's interesting. The I'm not sure I want to play the double splash fixture. <laughs> that's true, yeah. yeah. This one's probably better. Tapping is a pretty busted ability for one mana. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right, so I want to play one more card then. So the cards I'm looking at are, um, it might just be me, but I feel like this is a pretty good effect for one mana. Mm -hmm. Prevent three damage as you choose is a reasonable ability, but it might just be too weak. I think it's probably too weak unless we see a lot of damage. I feel like it's situational. I'd rather just play yeah. either a dopey ground creature or a flyer. Yeah. So, we just play Catfish and Unicorn. That might just be a sideboard card, though. Um, I wouldn't hate that either. There are just a ton of enchantments, so it's like pretty great. I'm sad we didn't get any like gating creatures for our colors. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Something to return these. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the Sunscape Battle Mage, that would be pretty good. That would be yeah, great. The only one we really saw was the crocodile when that one just yeah. would not be playable. That ain't for us. Yeah. Even though Bouncing Jungle Barrier will be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm tempted to main this because we actually don't have a ton of flyers. And so this sort of effect mm -hmm. is like pretty great. When it's good, it's like busted, but it's also a potential we just shouldn't be playing it. I think it's we can probably afford to just sideboard that. So, Gaia's Skyfolk isn't awful. Yeah. Why don't you just run Gaia's Skyfolk? Or even Kavu Glider? Yeah. The card's just so bad, though. Mm. Hmm. You know, actually, I think I'm going to play the Unicorn. I don't mind unicorn. Yeah. All right. Let's go look at this curve. Okay. Our curve is actually pretty low. I didn't realize that. Maybe we want to be playing some bigger creatures. I wouldn't hate getting like these the, any of these bigger green creatures in. Yeah, I think that that Kavu the the four four Kavu is kind of. Yeah. Speaking to me. Yeah, let's throw that in here. And then what do we want to trim instead? Probably a three drop. Um, Trim the unicorn, hmm. or actually, maybe we do we get keep the apprentice? Oh, yeah, we have to keep the apprentice. It's it's too good. Catfish and unicorn. Yeah, let's trim the unicorn, and we'll just run it like this and play eighteen lands. All right, let's see how the deck wants us to play our mana base. I don't hate this. And so we can trim a planes for this. Oh god, it resorted everything. 
way a battlefield forge over a plains. And then we can trim a We have no double pips other than voice of all. So that's not awful. And so we want to have, so we currently have four red sources. We can play five red sources with and trim a plains, or do we trim a forest? I kind of feel like we trim a forest for the Rith's Grove. And then, so that's our green count is one, two, three, four. That feels kind of wrong. Maybe we should trim a mountain for the forest. It's hard. Or actually, maybe I mean we should trim an island. I don't. We have five islands. I think we can play four islands. We don't need too many islands. Our blue cards are like pretty. We can play them late. Although I might just want to treat dream, uh, trim Dream Thrush as a card that's eh. Mm. It's going to be really hard to play this card, but I guess we just play it. I don't know. I kind of want to trim it for another bigger, like the Stone Kabu or something. Like it is fixing, but not. it's so unlikely to be fixing. Yeah. I think I'll just run the Stone Kabu. Yeah. Then I'll try and run it like this. I would not like to play first. Well, this hand has all of the mana we need, so we're keeping. <laughs> oh, we almost got them with the boozle. <laughs> OP with their draw step stops? What are you doing? I probably should have played out a mountain there, that way I could Quicksilver Dagger this turn, that's definitely a punt, but I also don't want to put Quicksilver Dagger on this Samite Pilgrim, really. It's going to be like prevent four damage, and that's like a pretty busted effect, and I'd like to be able to not have to just tap it, but I guess... Okay, Jungle Barrier makes life nice. I can put Quicksilver Dagger on Jungle Barrier, and so that is probably my plan at this point. So we just play in Mountain and Pass, I think. Yep. And we're looking pretty well set up against a green-white opponent. Maybe they're just green-white. Huh. I hope I'm reading this right where I just get to eat their one one, right? 
I guess this is bad if they have the Gerard's pump spell. I actually, I shouldn't have done this. This just trades with the pump spell. I should have just taken the one. I didn't think about that. Oh, my internet went out. Please log in. Oh, thank God. This format is slow enough that I might just die because of this. Fuck. I oh, the, what tell what happened, but okay. they seem to have disappeared. Yeah, all right. Oh, they're just Fleetfoot Panther, and that's totally fine. All right. Okay, I didn't lose too many minutes, okay. Just had to casually reset my internet browser. And you came back just as I was typing a complaint to you about it. Alright. Um, feel free to press the... the stream button at your convenience. Yeah. Or this. perhaps you are streaming and I'm just not loading it. Let me throw this jungle barrier into play and then I'll do that. Yep. Hopefully our opponent is unable to beat a jungle barrier. Especially one with a Quicksilver dagger on it. Especially protected by a Samite Pilgrim. <laughs> Sex toughness is so much in this format. It is, yeah. I think the only way I think I see us losing from here, Coalition on our guard would just absolutely wreck us. So as long as they don't do that, as I'm... Usual. Yeah. All right, they didn't Coalition on our guard us. All right, I'm going to throw this battlefield for... Eh, I don't even need to do that. Let's just put this planes into play. Let's dagger up this jungle barrier. And... Let's proceed to card draw our opponent into the Stone Age. Hmm. Reviving Dose, deal. Sure. We might have a hard time killing our opponent. Manacles of Decay, I don't hate that card. I'm gonna put this Stone Kavu into play. Because it can technically start attacking soon. Not deal. Oh boy, coalition honor guard. 
and Samite Elder. Oh, baby. This is kind of awkward with Jungle Barrier. We'll definitely have to sequence that well. Mm. Right, What's I, the sequencing problem? I don't want to choose red or blue because it'll kill my Quicksilver Dagger. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I'm going to be probably choosing white. All right. I am going to first put Coalition Honor Guard into play. Uh, I should not tap like that. And then I'm going to put Samite Elder into play. And my opponent will probably concede. Unless they were the player from from the draft pod that passed them. Yeah. Maybe they just don't know. Yeah, we're reaching the point where I'd be like, how do we lose? Oh, actually, I know how we lose. Like, route. Route probably kills us. I forgot that card's in this format, but that's a rare, technically. But I did just want to kind of throw everything into play. Don't route me, please. Please. Don't do it. <laughs> please. <laughs> okay. Is route the one that has, like, kicker cast to instant speed? Yes. Or is... Okay, then playing that out makes me think they don't have route. Oh boy, magma burst. I have too many things to do. I don't know how to... I have like a million different activated abilities. I don't know how to sequence any of this. I don't think you have to really do anything. It's true. I mean, we can't just ping and draw a million cards. You I can't really attack with, with the Kabu? Yeah, I'm going to throw this apprentice. Right, so just, yeah, just put that apprentice in the battlefield so that it can... Just do tap. So, like, next turn, that can tap the 3-4, and then you can start attacking with the Kabu. Yeah. I guess you could manacles, actually. I could. Start attacking now, but... I don't feel the need to. I do at some point just because like eventually we're just gonna die if they have like a busted rare. Okay, they don't have busted rares. <laughs> or at least nothing that I'm afraid of at the moment. Ooh. Well, I mean, we put this Kabu into play and we plan on attacking next turn, I think. Because we can tap a bunch of stuff. Come, okay, if you attack this turn. Okay, what do we do? How, tell me how to sequence this, because there are too many objects. Like, apprentice taps the Panther, and then... Just attack, yeah. You can give the, the Kabu haste as well. Yeah. Because you have the protection guy and also the, the prevent damage yeah. guy. Yeah. All right, what do we attack with? Besides the, the four two cabos. All right. Like, like, where's the profitable block here? Okay. What is this? It's okay. At literal holy day deal. I'm glad my opponent is playing that card. Irrigation ditch. Interesting. Deal. They're a two-color deck. They, like, have to be a two-color deck, right? All right. They can't even attack profitably. All right. Let's just do the same thing again. It worked last time. But this time you have more mana. I do. To pump into the Kabu. I could honestly probably be attacking with Coalition Honor Guard. I'm just not going to do anything past this. Okay, yeah, so that sounds good. And then 
I guess you could play around route and just stop casting creatures. We don't need to, yeah. We have the board so incredibly handled at this point, I just want to leave everything in hand in case they have like a card like that. I'm just trying to think. Oh, they're going to play their Lanowar card here. We just don't even care about that. So you could like manacles that. Yeah. They're probably just dead, but I don't f feel like thinking about it enough to see. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. just a... I'd like to cast flint on Kavu. I yeah. don't know. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I'm going to do it though. Just demoralize my opponent incredibly. Yeah, so now tap the Lanoir. Yeah. And attack and kill them with Magma Burst. Yeah. I am going to, in fact, attack with just everything. Yeah, 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 I like that. I guess we could eat. This game over with. Yeah, we could technically even give our creatures, like, pro whatever, but it, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, yeah, you can give them pro green. Yeah. Just flexing on our opponent so incredibly this game. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could have given pro green and then Kavud the Kavud one white creature tapped the other white creature. I don't and they just had the lethal on board. They're just leaving themselves dead to actual or, yeah, they just left themselves dead. That's eight damage. Oh, we can do this. Yeah, we don't have to do anything. We did it. Nice. I don't think we sideboard anything. Um, what do you have that's good against white and green? Our deck. What about like a flyer? Showed a bunch of ground blockers, right? They did. I think guys. So I don't really hate like guys, guy folk. Neither do I. If you know what you want to cut, that's the difficult thing here. I was gonna say like Voldaly and Serpent, but also they just probably have really hard time just playing <laughs> beating a six six. This card has incredibly impressed me, and we just have an incredible late game. I don't even know if I want to board that out. Yeah. <laughs> Her deck's too good. I have no idea how to play it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just, just, just going to submit the deck. I hope my opponent chooses to be on the play. They did choose to play first. Fantastic. His hand is a little slow, but I mean, it has all of our mana. I'm going to try using the F6 more often. Because we did lose a lot of time by disconnecting. They moved to second main. And the checking are we F6. I don't know why. Alright. Gonna put Island into play. And pass. Our opponent sure likes doing things in second main for some reason. I guess that's technically a timeout strategy. Yeah, sure.
Why are you playing this in your green-white deck? <laughs> okay. And then, so here, we tap our lands, put Rith's Grove into play. I'm going to return the island. And I'll, I'll turn the... Yeah, I'll return the island. And then... Cast primal growth. And then let's get forest. Yeah, probably forest. Although we have Rith's Grove, we don't really need that. But I guess we have all of our other colors of mana, so I'll just play it safe like that. We don't really need anything else. We've drawn the mountain. I'm imagining they killed the Rith's Grove somehow. Amphibious Kavu deal. I can't believe they made a format where these they didn't even these attack. Errors are really good cards. Yeah, like I don't even think I even I'm gonna put like an island into play and just pass. Yeah, we don't need to do anything. I guess you could kill their two two, but I'm just gonna put like a four four into play, and then I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. And I'm going to draw four cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's put this mountain into play. I'm going to put a serpentine cavo into play. I'm tempted to not even block if they attack. I think I would block. Yeah. I just want to trade resources. It's true. All right, well, that's a jungle barrier. Uh, well, let's attack first and see what they do. <laughs> yeah. If they double block, I think I'll just let it happen. What is this? Are they going to panther me? This looks like, what is this? Deal. <laughs> you can falling timbers me. Oh, damage from Serpentine Kavu, never mind. Not two. Do we let this mm -hmm. happen? What's happening? The falling timber. Oh, are, you wanna, you wanna burst the thing? Sure. Yeah. Sure, yeah, do it. Yeah. I'm tempted to sack two lands, but that's an incredibly greedy thing to do, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. And then I will make sure to leave up a green source so I can Thornscape Apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> then why am I not f -hated? Because I'm. Oh, I have a land drop? What? <laughs> when did this happen? Penumbra Worm? That gets tapped. Okay, Bob has finally shown a good card. They have. It like it's a good card, but also with the amount of enchantment based removal, it's actually pretty medium. It's an incredibly situational card. All right. Um I think I just want to put the Lancer into play. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to put draw two. Yeah. Hold up the white mana. Yeah. Tap on their turn. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Don't put Coalition Honor Guard into play, please. Deal. Oh, 
Oh baby. It's our six mana six six that can't attack. jungle barrier into play. Actually, no, it's probably better to put this into play. Is this the Llanowar thing? This is the Llanowar thing. That's kind of annoying. It means we can't really attack super profitably. Holy shit! Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh -oh. That's a good card. Okay, Our, okay, uh, we got a game. <laughs> okay, we aren't attacking no more. I'm, I'm glad we have this 6-6. Uh, six, six. Me too. Me too. Alright. Uh, Jungle Bear, I'm going to just cast Alex. Draw one card or draw four cards? I'm going to draw four cards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, you get to choose the target player. Yeah. Of course. I would like to cast Tidings. Opponent. Probably shouldn't have played that that land in case you draw a uh, island and a blue spell this is true i'm gonna uh, let's play the progenitus <laughs> yeah um and well i guess you can't tap the trampler if you do that hmm. i have a better idea let's play tundra kavu <laughs> i agree This captain's maneuver might be nutty with the amount of mana we have. Okay, so it's the next X damage that will be dealt to any target is dealt to any other target instead. Yes. So you can just let them attack and not block. And then say, I'm going to take 12? No, you're taking 12. Yes. Sweet. Although I don't know if I want to play it that risky. Um, I kind of just want to... Voice of all Jungle Bear? That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, that makes sense. Not really any combat going on, so Pilgrim does not seem super necessary. Agree. I don't know if there's an overrun variant in this format, but... Mm. Yeah, I guess if there's an overrun you want to play around, then you just want to not... Yeah, so the thought here is... Green? We... Yeah. Or, oh, you, you want to choose white to play around, like, auras? Yeah, oh. or like or like a Helionaut or something like that was my thought. Green is like the don't die play, which I don't hate. Yeah, I was on the don't die play when I, I said when I said green kind of reflexively. But we can start attacking and then we can just play super conservative. Okay, they have manacles. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Rip. That's unfortunate. Okay. I didn't even tap their creature. Forgot to. <laughs> Might as well do it now. <laughs> yeah. Virtual off the ancient doesn't have reach, does it? It does not. Um, Looks big enough to have reach. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put Samite Pilgrim into play, and then I think I'll. And I guess I'll just put the Stone Cobb into play as well. I'm not playing around yeah. route anymore. <laughs> I 
I guess I shouldn't have... Actually, no, I haven't tapped out a red. I'm not going to tap because... Because you want to cap the maneuvers for two? Yeah. We can also just block. Uh, we, um, I probably should have tapped it. Because I'm like, we have technically have a first strike block here. Because what we could do is we could just first strike and then another first striker. They might be unnecessarily greedy. I, I don't care. Yeah, do it. All right. Well, we don't even need the first strike, technically. Uh, but then you lose your Lancer. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's do this. This is horrendous. This is pro-green. <laughs> Fuck. <Right. laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, well. Uh, we'll be okay. We wanted. We just wanted to see the sick token art. <laughs> let's let's full screen that. It's pretty great. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. What do we do here? Nothing. I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I love the amount of cards my opponent is playing that are just straight garbage. Two mana, two one. Totally relevant. What the hell is honorable scout? It's it's a I one one. I guess don't. they gained two life. Yes. Okay, that makes my life. That that is a lot of worry off of my back. All right, what do we do? Just continue. nothing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Wait to draw Gaia Skyfolk. I don't think that's in the deck. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, realistically is we wait until we draw the Samite that gives our creatures pro green, and then our opponent can never win. Oh, you give your creatures pro white, and then the manacles fall off. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> God. What if we deck? <laughs> <laughs> it might happen. Because now you're at fewer cards in, in deck than the opponent's life total. Yeah. Oh, no. Maybe you can, like, attack with everything and then let the opponent attack back and captains maneuver them. I guess. <laughs> They're not going to play around captains maneuver, right? Yeah. All right, never mind. I'm going to play conservatively. <laughs> 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 this guy is so busted. It's so dumb. <laughs> and you've got the. I'm pretty confident you're going to untap with this because you got the Coalition Honor Guard and the Captain's Maneuver to protect it. Yep. Oh boy. Creatures you control gain protection from the color of the target permanent. All right, I would like to attack with my voice of all. We could probably be attacking with more, and probably should. Yeah, this is fine. Let's play that trapper. Um, you don't even need to do anything. We don't. What are they gonna do? Heliodotus. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This board is way too complicated. I don't like it. 
Okay, flame <laughs> dung cover. I'm gonna put that on the battlefield. Sure. I don't even know what I hit. <laughs> um. Heliodot. Sounds kind of dumb, but I think it's Heliodot. <laughs> yeah. I want to remove things that aren't green, and uh, the worm token is too big. All right. I think we can kill them, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> they might have a holy day. This is exactly. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So you have to wait until they're low enough that they die to captain's maneuver. Yeah. The way I see us losing is if they put, like, Gerard. Actually, no, we have one card in hand. Gerard doesn't do anything. <laughs> God, Coalition Honor Guard is such a dumb card. Makes life so easy. I think I go in. Actually, there's, there's no point. I'm just going to pack up <laughs> this voice of all. There's no reason to not do, just keep doing this. They'll be dead soon enough. Clock? This is true. We're up a game. <laughs> Deal. I'm not even going to bother tapping anymore. <laughs> they scooped. Oh, shit. What was uh, that? I undid the tape that I used to keep my microphone from crackling less. <laughs> okay, it's we did it. crackly tape. <laughs> it's scotch tape. <laughs> Would you like to play first? No. Um, I think we keep this. This hand seems pretty reasonable. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna put the island into play and pass. Yep, OP is playing a powerful deck. I'm a little spooked. Guys, Sky Folk is certainly a way we die. Don't exclude me, opponent, please. And I think I will attack. All right, it's, I'm gonna attack. And then I'm going to cast Primal Growth because I don't want to play into their Exclude. And get a Planes, probably. Yeah, let's get a Planes. And then depending on what the opponent does, if they tap out, I will probably slam the Serpentine Kavu into play. But if they don't... I will probably just run out the Tundra Kavu and see what they do. I should type good luck. It feels a little bad to do that now. Um, I'm going to attack again. Let's see what they do. No, 
nothing. Alright. Let's put Risk Grove into play. Maybe they exclude this. They don't. I'm tempted to think they don't have exclude now. But we also start attacking for three back. Finally, hunting Drake. That's a <laughs> Phone's playing good cards. What is this? Yeah. Why did they target that creature? That feels a little bit weird to me, but I don't mm -hmm. care that much. I am going to offer this a block, or I am going to attack. Yeah, yeah. I like the attack. And then I think. So, okay, hold on, hold on. So th there's a question here of, do you want to play five this turn and next turn five plus one? Or do you want to go three, one this turn and next turn play five plus activate the apprentice? I want to put Serpentine Kavu into play as their best at racing while they don't have like exclude or anything like that up is my thought for that. Because I I am afraid of I I'm I'm afraid of that sort of effect. So I just want to get a card mm. that races best. Because like ideally, I guess so. I'm I kind of suspicious of racing by putting the haste creature into play post combat. But well, see the thing is though we can't we can't put it. Well, we one we couldn't have done it this turn. Also, we can't necessarily guarantee that it's going to resolve next turn. I'm, sure, sure. I don't want to talk you out of this. Yeah. I want to put I want to put in the power before I can they can just counter it because these cards don't pressure well, and we don't really have a way to kill this yet. Yeah, the canopy surge in our post in our sideboard is going to be very nice for this matchup. Ah, right. I forgot you drafted that. Yeah. Good choice. Thanks. Holy shit! Reckless fight was that was fucking brutal. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Alright, well... We'll cast... Uh, We're going to make a land drop no matter what. Yeah, I was thinking if you're going to play around Exclude, then you might play the yeah the thing that they know about before the land. Yeah. We're going to play this, and then I'm going to play my tapper, because we're... I, what do you think? You want to play the, the five drop? Yeah, I guess we or can I play. guess you could go play both of the smaller things. I, mm. This isn't really doing a whole lot. I, I don't hate the five drop. Like the the true folk healer is basically a tapper. It just costs a little bit more to activate. Yeah, but it also costs more to get on the battlefield. And if you're going to be tapping two things every turn, it might yeah. be a little difficult to cast. Yeah. It's a shame this isn't the other tree folk that looks like this. Baron spite. Choose a creature to sacrifice. I think I sacrificed the healer. What does this do? The other one goes to your hand? Oh, yeah, yeah. Return the return the cheap one. Yeah. Sacrifice the healer. Yeah. We might be dying. Yeah, this is horrendous for us. That's the card's not that relevant. Right now, at least. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what we do. I can just F6. The opponent's deck is powerful.
They're thinking. This is terrifying. Gladenar. Uh oh. That's terrifying. But that we can might be problematic. We can block and give pro green so it's not like it's unbeatable. Well they're gonna give flying. Oh yeah, that that's gonna be unbeatable. Yeah, we're just dobs, right? So they've got three flyers and you've got two tackles. Yeah. 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 I'll make them see it. Shoot. Yeah. But yeah, we're not we're not winning. We can't even deploy anything because of our mana situation. Alright, yeah, we're dead. GG's opponent. All right, the only card I know for certain here is Canopy Surge. Um, now we look at the rest of the cards and wonder what do we want to keep. Hmm. I should probably just have this guy in Skyfolk in my deck. It's going to be hard to cast, but our mana's been okay. We've been very lucky in regards to our mana, at least. What do we side out, though, is the tough question. Like, Tundra Kav is probably an easy cut, but it also fixes our mana. But I, th I think I'll cut Tundra Kav, it was just a really mopey card. Yeah. And then the second cut is a little bit harder, though. Lots of good cards. It's true. One of the fives? Probably. We got so much efficient removal, though. Yeah, I'm thinking Stone Kavu. Although Healer is also tempting to cut, but it's probably just Stone Kavu, I think. Sure. All right, and then we'll run it like that. Would you like to play first? No. This is, I think, our first mulligan, unfortunately. Damn. Do we keep this? I think we have to keep this, right? It's pretty mopey, but it has mana, technically. <sighs> Going to five is just really rough. Yeah, yeah, keep it, keep it. And then what do we bottom here? Primal growth. I think that's right, as sad as that is. So if you draw a forest. Like, our mana's already okay then. Yeah. Two green spells that actually do things to be casting. Yeah, there's the camp. Find surge. red eventually. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Can you can you tell me how much is that to kick? It's two mana to kick, so it's a four mana deal four to it's each flyer. Four mana. Wow. And each okay. player. I thought it was a little bit less efficient than that. No, it kills everything real good. Hmm. -mm. I'm I'm tempted to not actually I think I am gonna run the there same. Simi and Grints in this format. No, I'm gonna just run this out. If they exclude it, I don't really care. It's pretty mopey against them to be. Yeah, each. I don't think they were gonna exclude it though. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's the red card. Rip. Uh. Attack. Um. Maybe leave back the the other guy. This one. In case they play like. Yeah, wait. Hold on, hold on. Where's the where's the rare do? You have to target a creature. Yeah, choose target right? creature you control and then and then basically creatures you control gain the protection from the color of a permanent you control. Okay, so that doesn't stop them from barren spite. No. Or actually yeah, no it doesn't. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just gonna attack. Okay. 
Yeah, I can't think of a reason not to attack. Yeah. Assuming there aren't any flesh creatures other than the panther. The panther's the only one I can think of. I know there's probably more, but I can't think of them right now. Baron Spite. A Phyrexian Slayer. What does that do? It's got flying? It's really good against us. Gosh darn it. Well, okay. well it's, you can just tap it. It's a, it's a card we're tapping. Don't do it, opponent, please. Oh, God, no. Our man is catching up to us. We have to tap the Nar. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have cited this out. Maybe. I'm not sure you would have cited this out for something that was good here. Like, you would have cited it out for Stone Cavu. That's true. Stone Kava would also not be good here, yeah. God, a green source would be so good here. <laughs> Play a flyer, and then we get a green source. Okay. Do we okay. do it, or do we wait? To do what? Oh. Uh, we drew a um, green source. I kind of want to put Serpentine Kavu into play. Although that's just oh. going to get removed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do we play here is the question. I don't hate Serpentine Cabo because then that lets you give your things pro green. It's true. Okay, let's do it. Let's and then let's just continue. That resolved real fast. It did. I feel like we're gonna get like reckless spited or some shit, and it's gonna be awful. <sighs> Baron spite. Hunting Kavu. Hunting Drake. That's really annoying. Oh, hunting Drake. Well, um, that makes this canopy surge even better. Yeah, I guess that's the that's the upside, isn't it? You can give pro green, but that doesn't really. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just yeah. It's happy yeah, now. Do this. Right. Well, this canopy surge might win us the game. They better not have prohibit. That'd be really bad. Or like air ties trickery. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, play another guy of Skyfoot. Alright. Okay, just do it. Alright, let it resolve. Let it resolve. Let it resolve. <laughs> Why isn't this resolving quickly? I don't know of any counter spells I can think of here, honestly. Okay, we did it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to attack um, with Samwhite Elder. Opie has to think now. Oh no! Forest walk. <laughs> Cheat. It's okay. We'll draw. We'll draw the mountain. We also can just put Thunderscape into play. Speaking of mountains. 
this would be nice right now. Um, there's some thought. Play the four four. I think we just play the four four. Don't reckless. Don't bear in spite us, please. Please have a heart. Is that an instant? I think so. I don't actually know. Don't do it. Reckless spite. That's pretty Fuck. bad. That's really bad. Okay. If we draw a mountain, it's not the worst, because they do lose five life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all those poking him with the one power creatures is paying off. Yeah. Like, mountain here, we kill the Nar. It's like, this is like a reasonable game. But we do need it, yeah. like, now. Well, even if you don't draw the mountain, like... You can play green creatures and then give them protection from green. This is true, yeah. All right, well, let's put both of our green creatures. And then the apprentice is a tapper, so it, in theory, can hold off Yep. the unblockable guy. Hmm. I guess I'm in a bit of a mood, but I find it really interesting. I'm checking the time by looking at the time that you're projecting to me from very far distance away. Oh, <laughs> Instead of picking up my phone. That's just efficient. <laughs> Spells, Metathrian Transport. What does that do? It's an unblockable 1-3. It's all you really need to know. Has flying, and it can't be blocked by blue creatures. Yeah. Oh wait, it makes things blue. Yeah, that's actually that's, that's horrendous. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, I didn't think about that connection. Good thing they didn't do that on our turn. Or I guess we could have done uh, it in response. You could, yeah. Arctic merfolk deal. They picked it back up. <laughs> we need. Like, we ultra need our red spell now. Mountain. I need a mountain. Uh, we're probably just dead here. Let's see if they know what they're doing. I guess we could just tap the Gnar. We probably just have to tap the Gnar. Yeah. Tap the Narn and then double block Arctic Merfolk. It's true, because we can guarantee... We can't guarantee protection from blue damage. We can't guarantee anything. Yeah. <laughs> they aren't even attacking. Sweet. They don't need to. Alright. The, the, the rare thing can't target their creatures, right? No. Opponent, no, Aether no, Mutation. Oh, God. They're targeting what? their own creature. They're putting 6-1-1s into play. Can you give that protection from green? No. <laughs> it's only creatures you control. This would have been nice a bit ago. Like, this would have been incredibly nice a couple turns ago. But, uh, uh rip. Yeah. All right. I'll say GG's. Shoot. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, I know it's a I know it's a Tuesday, but can we get my drunk moto opponent, please? <laughs> I want to play against at least one Tarngar stare. Marty McCloaks. That sounds like someone who drinks on a Tuesday. <laughs> 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 All right, would you like to play first? No. And this is a keep. Tundra, nice. Tundra Kavu doing work. We had our Samite Pilgrims. That would have been nice last game. Ooh, green matchups. I think I like our green matchups.
Don't fire ice me. Oh shit, blue mana. I'm scared. Uh, I kind of want to attack. I really should have looked up things that can be cast at instant speed as creatures, because I know there are cards that <laughs> I'm walking into potentially. All right, we're gonna put Honor Guard into play. Maybe they exclude us? Okay, they didn't exclude us. What do they do here? Okay, Repulse. That's acceptable. I just wanna put Coalition Honor Guard into play. So here, it's actually kind of interesting what we do. We could put Honor Guard into play, but I'm also scared of cards. I kind of just want to Tundra Kavu again, because they know about it. No, I j I'm just going to play cards. If they have it, they have it. All right, they didn't have it. I am not going to Samite Pilgrim, though. What do they have? Don't be good. Frenzy Tilling. That's OK. Because I have a red source, fortunately. But that would have been annoying if they had anything else. Oh, boy, Samite Elder. Let's see what they do here. Don't do it, don't do it. Rock Evolver, that card's scary. What's Rock Evolver do? Flying. Okay, yeah, we need to manacles that right now. That Rock Evolver might kill us. Because this card is actually unraceable. Don't bounce it, please. Seed Evolver, holy shit, they have all the Volvers. Mm. Volver Tribal. Yeah. At least that one I can Flame Tongue Kavu. What's that one do? It gets killed by Flame Tongue Kafu. That's all, <laughs> that's all you need to know. <laughs> Unironically. Stop reading. At least they can't, like, repulse their own creature or anything because of this. Because <laughs> they have a guard, yeah. 
Oh boy, our opponent's playing a bugged card. What does that one theoretically do? They get to draw cards. Serpentine Kavu is a little annoying. Sure. That's a nice one. Nice. The color is a question, though. What do we do with it? I think you should play the 6-6. Six, six. Probably, yeah. Can we attack? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also attack. I think I'm going to attack with the Flame Tunkavu. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm okay. Oh, right, right. I'm okay trading if they do. Okay, you have to activate Manacles, though, right? I do, yes. I should do that before. I have, I have a stop in my own attack. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you for reminding me. I would have punted that away. They also probably won't block because they want to get the C to trigger. <laughs> which technically won't happen, I think. Well, I mean, you can tap the Pilgrim, right? Uh, or does it not do that? I don't think it does that. Mm. I guess I don't know what that card does then. <laughs> Let's see if this actually is bugged or not. Maybe they only discard. Holy shit, it's not bugged anymore. Hey. We should tell Water that. Let's see what they play here. I'm scared. Proteus, I'm scared. They're tapping Omnath. Omnath, <laughs> <laughs> Locus of Creation. Just the secret invasion mythic. Lightning Angel. Oh, no. No. A secret invasion mythic. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's, it's not, not even that bad. That's yeah. okay. That's very fine. Yeah. Let's see what they do. Okay, that's probably the free attack. Yeah. I think we just take it and we still do the Quicksilver Dagger. I agree. Okay, so what is what is the tap ability on this do? Like, how exactly does it work? So does I it target your thing or the opponent's thing? Anything. It targets your thing. That would be that's a target creature uh, this turn. Okay, so yeah. basically I'm trying to figure out if you can attack with the 4-4. Four four. Where you can prevent four damage, and then it can... Yeah, I guess you can attack with the 4-4. Four four. Yeah. If you attack with the Kavu, um, it trades and you have to activate manacles. Yeah. You can... I think I'm just going to... I guess save it from the Reckless. I could do that. Yeah, actually, I think I do want to do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go not draw cards and just attack a bunch. Let's activate manacles. We know we're doing that. <laughs> they have to block. And then I think I'm going to voice on red. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see what they do here. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Just in case they escape from their manacles. Yeah. I'd be very afraid if I were them, certainly. We're in okay shape, but this could definitely get not good very quickly. For the next X damage set, we'll be able to target a creature this turn. 
OK. And then I'm going to put voice on red. And then I guess I put this into play. I guess this is really, really, really bad if they have the, what is it, the canopy surge, but for ground creatures. That's what this is really bad into, but besides that, I think we have this. If they play that, we're just dead. Don't do it, opponent, please. Don't do it. I'm, I'm not sure you're just dead if they have that. It's really horrendously bad. You still you keep your voice at all, though. It's true. I, mean, I guess they are at three. Or so. you're, you're just kind of tied on board if they do that. Yeah. Uh, it's scary, but... Okay. The thing is, though, they're still dead. We just attack and ping. But if they have an answer now, like a repulse or some shit, their own Quicksilver Dagger, that doesn't save them. Block. Okay, now they're definitely dead. Yeah, but we don't need to show them that card. <laughs> even more dead. I don't even need to activate this. I'm not going to activate my Manacles of Decay. I don't need to. Oh, shit, they gain life. I didn't think about mm -hmm. that. All right, well, the Magma okay, Burst. Well. Now we Magma Burst. Okay, now we do this. I didn't want to do this, but now we do this. <laughs> All right. Damn. Opponent's deck is strong. Like, we really lucked out that game with this really nice hand. I'm very scared of the opponent's deck. Okay, cards I want. Canopy Surge. Get in here. Um, Capuchin Unicorn. I think we want you. They showed Seda Sanctuary and Quicksilver Dagger. I th mm -hmm. think that's enough to make me want this card. Um... The other cards, Shields of Duty and Reason, probably not worth playing. That, yeah, that's not good. Um, man, and for being in the one-two bracket, opponent's deck is really, really fucking strong. <laughs> Side and recoil. I would love a recoil, unironically, <laughs> but I don't think we can play it. Sad. Yeah, this card is... I wish we could play this card. It's so good. Yeah. But double black is... But that's good. just... Double blue, double white is just a big ask. Yeah, double white is reasonable. Double blue is unthinkable. You have to have both or the card does nothing. Yeah, it's really bad. We need the sideboard cards out. I'm going to get rid of Tundra Kavu, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of We haven't activated Tundra Kavu once. It's true. It was going to be relevant one of these games, and then we didn't do it. Um, the other card is going to be uh, Stone Kavu. I don't know. I'm going to board out Stone Kavu. And then I need to go be somewhere. <laughs>
well. Well, this card is, I think we keep this hand. It's not great, but I think it's good enough. It has mana. This is a, this is a hand that could go badly. Yeah, there's a lot of ways this hand dies. It's pretty scary. Okay, mana isn't bad. I'm gonna put this unicorn into play and then not put Quicksilver Dagger on it, probably. That's a nice one. Don't do it. Okay, that one was okay. It's also a nice one. And then I think we just pass. So it's like a million mana for this one. Hopefully they play Lightning. Actually, no, hopefully they don't play Lightning Angel because I don't want to play against that card. But at least we have an out to Lightning Angel now. Reef Shaman. Oh boy, they're going to Rashad and port us. Alright, who joined? Supper after? Uh things are scary. We're not here, what do I think in I uh in May? Yeah. So it's it's really interesting what we do here. So it's rough. They're gonna Rashad and port us off land types. But I think that we can afford that. It's like I don't I want to spend mana this turn, but also it's really hard to do so. This feels kind of bad, but maybe we captain's maneuver to just kill the reef shaman. Or let's see what they do. Oh wait, no, they're targeting themselves, probably for white. Lightning Angel? Lightning Angel. We can kill that, though. Mm. Yeah. We have the thing here. So, you yeah. still want to kill that Reef Shaman? Kinda. It's probably a spew to do that, so I don't think we should do that. But I am tempted to do so. Yeah, I mean, it's just annoying that they might be able to Yeah. If they want, they can cut you off of casting the captain's maneuver forever. They don't know about it, though. Is the thing. Okay, you should play the island and not the... Or, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm going to play the island. Or I, I have uh, maybe the forest. I don't know. It doesn't actually matter, then, does it? I'm going to put the forest, and then let's cast this with the green kicker. Yeah. Hope for no more evolvers. Yeah. And I will attack with this. Sure as hell ain't blocking with it. I'm tempted to snap off this block, because this also Rashad and ports this. <laughs> yeah, I, I did that. Serpentine Oh power. no. Haste. Yeah. Well, now we're at yeah, super I, I block. Yeah. Spell. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. What do they choose? Probably forest. Yeah, that was probably the right choice. Not the worst. Um. Nine. What do we do here? Probably captain's maneuver. 
I guess we, but we can't. Ca- I guess that's on their turn. Yeah, it's true. If they if they want to proactively do something about it, then we can let that happen. Yeah, I guess we just, yeah, just captain's maneuver. Yeah, we might die, but eh. if they proactively play around captain's maneuver, like sure, they're stream sniping. Raptor, is this your alt account? <laughs> Yes. Uh, no, it's not. Um, can you please also send me a picture of your hand for unrelated <laughs> reasons? The, the stream streams live, Raft. <laughs> it's hard to multi I, I mean, um, uh, you're right. Why did I think I could Captain's Maneuver? I can only deal three damage. Mm-hmm. Why did I think I could Captain's Maneuver killing this Serpentine Tyvan? Sorry, why can't you Captain's Maneuver? Never mind, I can't count. I thought I only had five mana. Choose target first. Right. Oh, 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 sorry, this is fucking <laughs> All right, the next X damage that will be dealt to target creature or player this turn is dealt to another target. So I choose me and then the Kavu. Don't have anything, opponent, please. I suspect they'll have, like, a repulse or some shit here, but please don't have it. All right. Okay, it died. Thank God. Kavu Scout? I mean, I don't like that, but I have ways to beat that card. Like my own Serpentine Kavu. Ooh. Are we attacking? I don't think we're attacking. Working. <laughs> like, I think this is a blocking Serpentine Kavu, as bad as that is. Don't do it. Exclude. Fuck me. All right. They had the exclude. God damn it. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. This canopy surge won't be able to even do something anytime because it'll kill me. Don't have spells opponent. No. That one's okay. That one's also kind of okay. Fuck. What do we do? Ah, this is so tough. We're not just dead. We can block here. It's a chump, but it's not good. I think we probably just need to allied strategies this turn. And then I need to think, what can we draw? So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can draw any three drops. So I want to leave... A green. I can tap all of my blue. And then I want to leave a green up. And so we have a green and white up and red. Or we don't have white up, but I'll just leave. I think I'll leave it like this. Okay, that's that's a, not quite a start, but it's some good cards at least. So we play the forest, we can't manacles, and we, we can't cast anything, but it's not the worst. We're not dead. If they have removal, we're dead, but next turn we can at least flame tongue Kavu, and that's pretty good. We're really close to dead, but... If the opponent bricks a little bit, we might have a chance. I 
Okay. The only card I know for sure we're casting is this Flame Tongue Kavu. And then from there we can't cast anything. And we go to one. I, yeah, I guess so. It's not great, but... Not pleased by... Yeah, not great, but I don't want a Manacles. The... We can't actually do importing a soft white. This Manacles is uncastable. Oh. Yeah. Right. Creature. Please be a creature that I can cast. Well... Um, this isn't the worst, honestly. <laughs> um, probably don't play that. <laughs> because now they're going to port your red mana and stop you from casting your red spell. I was just going to magma burst both of these creatures, to be honest. Oh, sure. Okay. Is that what magma burst does? Yeah, it's actually just absurd. Cool. And then I'm going to sacrifice two forests, I think. Or actually, let's do an, uh, let's, let's tap an island. I'm going to sack an island in a forest. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're at one life. <laughs> if we draw good cards from here on out, we have a chance. I didn't see any burns, but that's a good card. I should check the, the, the snipping tool to see any haste creatures. Serpentine Kava was a haste creature, but oh. we already killed that. Like the worst thing that could happen here is like Aether Mutation. That Good. would be pretty awful. All right. Do you have any ways to gain life? No. I don't like being a one. All right. We've lost oh, okay. Game. All right. Opponent made it easy on us at least. Uh, I'm going to take another screenshot just so we can see what they have. I did not expect to have to fight this hard for a 2-1. Marty McCloak sounds like someone drinking on a Tuesday night. I was really hoping so. This person looks a little late. Hoping I'm drinking on a Tuesday night. <laughs> That's what I was hoping. Here are just the screenshots of the cards we've seen, so I don't have to just reference these periodically. Okay. What changes? Don't really think there was all that much that changes. I'm... I feel like we have better late game than they do, or at least from what I've seen. And that if we just exchange resources, we have more card draw than they do, I think at mm -hmm. least. Yeah. So I don't hate just playing to just hopefully draw all of, all of our cards. Um, this can't be sort of just, I mean, they got Lightning Angel. That's such a clean answer. It is. And if I look at the other... Rock Evolver could technically sometimes be hittable by that. But other than that, it might not be worth it. I don't know. I kind of want to leave it in. But you're right. It might just be wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, we did just die with it. What is? Uh, the Canopy Surge. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's, does Rock Evolver have flying? Is that what that card does? I still don't know what it does. Rock Evolver is a 5-5 five, five flying or, life. Or, no, no, no. The, the other Dig Evolver. Seed Evolver? Seed Evolver. Seed Evolver. What we have a uh... 
the card that, that you wouldn't tell me what it did because you were killing it. Yeah, here it is in Scryfall. I think it's like a 4-4 four, four with first strike and trample for like five mana. Oh, okay. It's like so pretty, not fun. Yeah. I think it might be wrong for Canopy Surge to be in the deck. I think I'll, I think I'll say it shouldn't be. I don't think we need it. Okay. I. If you tell me to keep it, I'll do it. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I want Tundra Kavu either. Stone Kavu? Uh, I don't know. Pick something. Uh, it might... One second. I'm going to put in Amphibious Kavu. <laughs> Hopefully you got in. I suspect it did not. <laughs> What? I think, I think it got <laughs> How did in. Did you do that? <laughs> Would you like to play first? No. I mean, I think we keep this, right? This looks fine to me. Samite Pilgrim just stalls forever until you play the 4 4 first striker. Yeah. All right, we might be one twoing, and I'll be very sad if I draw this many lands. But yeah. oh, they wait! wait oh, holy shit! Okay, they uh, they missed mm -hmm. a land drop. I'm not sure I wanted to attack there. I probably shouldn't have attacked. They but they missed a land drop. Okay. Is Zap in this format? Zap is in this format. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. What do we put voice of all on? This is the real question. Um, I think it's red, right? Like, so the last time you played it, you put it on red because they had the 5-5 yeah. the five, five flying lifelinker. And... Mm. um. They probably don't have any blue hard removal for it. Yeah, they had like Temporal Spring, and that's about it. They had Aether Mutation, but I'm just going to... I guess it. there's a thought to naming white, thinking that you can probably protect it from red removal with the Pilgrim. That's true. I think I'm going to put it on green, then? You're putting it on green so you can block with it? Actually, that's a mistake. Yeah, I should just put it on blue. All right, let's put it on blue. And then, oh, right, you can't put it on white because then it'll have protection from the pilgrim. I'm attacking again. <laughs> <laughs> Please no zap. <laughs> All right, they, they hit a card. Darn. All right, well, I'm attacking with voice of all. I know that much. And then I'm going to put this island into play and pass. Damn it, they've been peeling lands. Rock Evolver. That's unfortunate. It's a 3 3 flyer. Okay. To Flame oh. Tongue Kavu. I would like to cast Flame Tongue Kavu. <laughs> Me too. I, I would like to not attack with the Pilgrim. <laughs> You've convinced me. <laughs> Much skill. <laughs> 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 I wonder if that was like the best creature at one point. If this was a standard bet then, yeah. How is ridiculous. Yeah. I actually I think it was less busted because you could play no you could play creatureless control decks where the card is just like unplayable. So half a heart in itself if it's the only thing on the on the battlefield? Yes. I 
feel like Flame Tongue Kava was like not actually that good back in the day. Just that people are not used to having value creatures be good. So it was notable. Let's see what they do here. Might like repulse me or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, they're totally going to repulse your flame tank. <laughs> what is this? Prophetic bolt. Oh, it's oh, it's magma burst. Kicked. Okay, they sack two lands. Wait, what? <laughs> they didn't need those. They just need to cast lightning needle. All right, I'm going to put Voldalian Serpent into play. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mistake, opponent. You should have sacked all your islands. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> oh. Repulse? Kavu Recluse. Deal. Oh, they did peel lands. Do I? I'm not going to do it. I'm just attacking with both. They can trade for my Flame Tongue Kavu. Yeah, that's fair. All right. I like doing this better. But it's just on board. Even if they play a walker. I'm sad I was so low enough on time that I couldn't respond with incoherent ape noises. That's what I usually prefer to do. <laughs> <laughs> Just much, <laughs> much skill. Yep. Oh. I, hey, I'm not the one who chose to be on the play in this format. <laughs> <laughs> If you've if you've thought about this form at all, you know that you should be on the draw in like every matchup. <laughs> okay. Good skill for you. 